talk about the future. Driverless cars are coming. Williams, VP of Marketing at OnSemi, one of our Empowering Innovation sponsors, is here to give us his perspective on the challenges of connected and driverless vehicles. Hey Lance, so what's your vision of the future of connected and driverless cars? Grant, at OnSemiConductor we see a gradual adoption of these technologies, moving over time from luxury vehicles to mainstream vehicles. Regions such as Europe, the US, Japan and Korea lead the way. By the way, the transition is already happening with semi-autonomous vehicles on the road today. For example, technologies like lane departure warning, park assist, and Wi-Fi are all seeing adoption in the vehicle. How's on semi addressing the challenges of this new technology? With our vast portfolio of automotive products, we participate heavily today in virtually every application in the vehicle. Moving forward, we'll continue to invest in technology and products such as imaging, power management, and vehicle networking, all of which will be key to supporting connected vehicles and autonomous driving. How are we going to interact with our vehicles and our environments in the future? As in the past, our interaction with the automobile will change over time. Today, all the vehicles on the road are equipped with passive safety devices. These are items such as seat belts and airbags, features that are for protection of the passengers during an accident. However, we are now beginning to see light vehicles with active safety options, systems that are used for the prevention of accidents. Active safety systems include items such as adaptive cruise control, automatic braking, lane departure warning, and park assist. From a connectivity point of view, items such as vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle and vehicle-to-infrastructure communications will offer greater convenience, improved traffic flow, and an overall safer driving experience. Is transportation infrastructure ready for driverless cars? No, not today. Numerous considerations will be necessary to truly launch a driverless vehicle. These challenges will come from areas such as the ability of the vehicle to operate during a variety of conditions. Night driving, for example, is far greater challenge than driving during the day, for example. Add to that a rainstorm, uh, fog, and you can envision the difficulties associated with the vehicle's ability to operate safely. This is where the fusion of cameras and radar will come to play. Beyond these challenges, the ability of the vehicle to read signs, recognize traffic signals, or something as simple as keeping your car in the proper lane are all items that must be addressed. Do you think consumers will want to buy driverless cars? Yeah, of course they will. However, in my opinion, there will be a learning curve. Driverless cars will provide options that many consumers will desire. It will not only provide the consumer a safer vehicle, but it allows for improved productivity and a more well-rested driver at the end of your trip. Driverless in mind does not mean 100% driverless. This experience will be available as desired. We all know there are times when you're driving, for example, from New York to LA that having a vehicle that manages the trip would be far less taxing versus driving oneself that distance. The driving experience will still exist, it will just be the consumer's decision on when, where, and for how long they wish to utilize the driverless option. Now how will driverless cars change our travel and consumption patterns? This is a simple answer. Travel will be safer, less stressful, more productive, and consume less of whatever is required to propel the vehicle. Additionally, regardless of the propulsion, the vehicle will be much more efficient than one driven by an individual today. So how is OnSemi helping engineers solve problems in this driverless car arena? At OnSemiConductor, our sales and applications engineers work directly with our global tier ones and the automotive manufacturers by providing not only product support, but applications and system knowledge via our solutions engineering centers in the U.S., Germany, Japan, and China. With our total systems approach to the vehicle and over 5,200 automotive approved devices, we are a leading supplier of all electronic systems within the automobile. All right, Lance, how is OnSemi helping auto manufacturers build a better ride? As one of the top 10 automotive semiconductor suppliers in the world, OnSemiConductor provides a myriad of products and solutions to the global automotive market. 
Our focus within the automobile since 2010 has been towards powertrain, body, LED lighting, as well as active safety. This includes a variety of things within the automobile. Within these areas, on Semiconductor offers not only products, but complete and partial solutions. Are automotive safety sensors safer than people? Safer than people? That's an interesting question. More reliable than people is really what counts in my book. With the introduction of the automotive safety standard, safety systems, including autonomous driving, must comply. The safety standard calls for redundant systems within the vehicle, similar to what we've seen in commercial aircraft for a number of years, thus enabling key safety systems to have a far better reliability outcome than the average unit. How is the connected driverless car impacting energy and the environment? Simple. They provide a more efficient route and driving option from point A to point B. Efficient route planning, including accident and roadwork diversion, as well as more efficient vehicle operation, leads directly to better energy consumption and less emissions where applicable. Okay, Lance, thanks a lot for talking to us about driverless cars.